You have the cannon, you have the Vi that can engage really well, and you have an Alistair, which is going to be relatively tanky. But if T1 fall behind and Nongshim have control over objectives or they're contesting for control, the Ezreal poke will be quite significant. But, uh, there can at least be one of those plates taken by Jiwoo, as we can see. Ona moving over, though, so 4 to 2 as Mihail trying to get towards the turret and might actually ding level 2 as, no, not quite, but still he's going to survive. There's that level 2 that we were talking about. The four men still here from T1 as they do manage to get the engage. That is first blood going over to Gumiyushi. And Ona tanks that one up beautifully juggled here as now to get him out of the way of that one. And the teleport comes in from Mihail, and he says, witness me, as he looks for more of these minions. Zeus was tanking up this turret, and once again, he's just going to get toyed with. And that is another kill going over to T1. All right, Sylvie's coming down here to see if maybe he can get some cleanup done on the Lilia. Bowling ball going to go wide. Yep, has his eyes on the stake there, but Kerry just going to flash out of the way. The watch out, he... Oh my god, how many kills can he actually pick up here? As Kerry is dead as well. That is two for one, and you'll probably take that as grand entrance. Going to be necessary here from Vital, but he used it, I believe, to uh, close the gap. Doesn't land the Gleaming Quill, and Gumiushi just stands strong, walks out, no flash. Oh. oh, there's the flash in! Jiwoo! Jiwoo's here! And the flash was just used! Great sidestep from Kumiyushi, but Jiwoo, he's going to have that arcane shift relatively soon, but Carrier, he gets back here! I mean, that's a quick hand, quick reaction there from Gumiyushi. Well done. There's another double knockup, and the Blade Caller is gorgeous! Vital looking to try and get himself out of this one as the Ignite was ticking, but not enough to take him down. It's now Jiwoo! trying to deal with this one as great moves with the arcane shift to get out of the way but i think he's still in trouble kumiyushi he takes another turret shot and it's jiwoo that grabs the kill jiwoo is still alive and he gets the shield from the barrel oh my god i mean t1 you're diving in israel with barrier if this goes badly you've got to fit israel on your hands and you've tossed all the advantages you got i mean not completely all of them but a lot of them just into the bin as Karia looking for the execute will get it here as it looks like the vital q does not Connect. Ewu and Vital. Match made in heaven, I don't know. Uh, as Ona doesn't either, as he's taking so much damage here. Yeah, he is uh, just walking the wrong direction. Carrier and Faker, nothing they can do about this. And can they keep themselves alive Okay, uh, about this one? Guma going to deny some minions, and then he should be able to secure first turret here very easily, very comfortably. He can replay Purgatory for us to figure out where we are. Faker's ahead, has a call. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The top laners are very low eco in this game. And something happened over here as well. Aha, so it was a battle for the Rift Scuttler. Yeah. And Ona didn't like it, but there were more friends for, for Sylvie. Yeah. Very, uh, I don't want to say egregious, but greedy from Ona there. Yeah. And Drake going to be picked up here by Nongshim. Side of the map. As Ona going to spot out the fact that Sylvie's in the area. Lilting Lullaby does come down, and Ona takes a nap. It's suboptimal timing for said nap, but Ona's still going to survive. Oh, target selection fantastic there from Fisher, though. Looked like maybe he was going to go for the play on the Faker is over here. Yeah, we've got an all out from Mihail, who's just looking for Zayas. The exhaust goes down. He'll find some more cues. And the flash out from Zayas is going to avoid it. Vital now looking for the angle he gets over Zayas. He knows that he has to go all in onto this one. Some alcove gaming, a Q going to connect. And Mihail, he will fall down, but the immediate answer is there from the Rakan. Yeah, the heal comes through. It's enough to get his health bar back, but I think Vital really wanted to give Mihail the kill there and missed an auto. T1 favorite in the second game, despite the scrappy nature of this game and how fast and loose both of these teams have played. T1 are trading up because they got plates in the bottom lane. Zayas 1v2 gets a kill, and now they're looking for more onto this Cassante, who's got nothing in the inventory. Yeah, it's feeling a little bit mean as Mihail is going to have his turret demolished, but he will survive. Vital still in the area as Fisher up towards the top side now. He's been a bit quiet this game as this is not as Carrier going to get re-engaged on. Jiwoo over to the side looking for some Mystic Shot angles, but Vital's the one that's in trouble. Okay, True Shot Barrage connects on to Carrier, but he has an unbreakable will. They both turn immediately. These health bars are so low. It's a two for one though, and Jiwoo is just massive. Yeah, he has five kills now on this Ezreal. He had the Triforce in the fight. Super important. Sylvie just taking one for his Ezreal there, as he's kind of been Jiwoo's best friend in this game, I guess, in a lot of ways. Oh, Sylvie sort of dancing around this passive stacked up, so he's so incredibly fast. Watch out, even Smite going to be able to lock down this dragon. It's a mountain soul this game as well. Like this. 
We'll see, though, because it's only a two Drake lead. Obviously, T1 can start to stack up those resistances for their Alistair as well. Ends up being a boon for their front line if they can start to win those dragon fights. They get the Herald in return. Sobi is looking for a potential setup here. Yeah, another angle. Could just be this turret that they're looking for. Zayas wanting to try and protect it, but there is another minion wave conga lining in. And so I think Zayas might have to vacate. Okay, Sylvie just going to flash forward. Their teleport is coming on through, though. But the Q comes back. Fisher locks him down. And uh, just an overstay here for Zayas. Not even able to flash his way out. As Okay, I think uh, Vital might be dead. Never mind. He just quicknesses his way out. He's totally chilling. It's uh, like, I don't know. Vital, what did he have for breakfast today? I don't know, but what did Fisher have for breakfast today? He's all over the map in both games. He's going to miss everything. Uh, and so uh, even though Zayas doesn't have his ultimate, it doesn't actually matter. As Mihail going to lose his turret. See whether he loses more than that as Faker comes down. A lot of consistent damage here, shredding down the Cassante. Ultimate is getting closer to coming online, about 20 seconds or so away. Yeah, Rift Herald going to come on down here. Isaiah's going to teleport on top of it. Looks like they want to take the mid lane out of turret with them. And I think T1 should be able to lock this one down. Banana Brush warded up as well as Vital comes in. And that ward, oh, not going to get swept just yet. But it's still such a huge threat. Flash, ult back online. Yeah, Gumiushi, pretty safe positioning right now. Headbutt Pulverize on to Vital, but now he gets out of there. Great knockup. Sleep comes in. They execute the cannon. The knockup from Vital is just gorgeous. And Mihail's massive in the fight. Sylvie goes golden to keep himself alive. And Carrier, he is just a cow. What is he supposed to do? Jiwoo's going to flash on top of Gumiushi. And Nongshim, I know they ate noodles for breakfast, right? It's Nongshim, but damn! Decisive call from Sylvie. The fall of Ult from Fisher is there. And Deus is just six feet under before the fight can really get off for T1. They had Pryo, they had the Herald going through, they had Banana Bush control, they took out the turret, but Nongshim were just more clutch. They kite back, they set up the perfect engage. They're not going to make playoffs if they lose this, because again, their strength of schedule is pretty weak, but it may affect which place they get in. Yeah, and th that could actually be quite significant in terms of that first round. It's a massive Ezreal, and map control doesn't belong to them. The Baron power play is increasing by the turret, and there's there's ways back into this game, Even but it's being 10% nerfed. I think he got 10% buffed by killing everyone at the beginning of the game. Yeah, maybe uh, more than 10. That wasn't too bad. Fisher might be caught out of position here. Let's see whether he can ult away. He is going to be able to do so. That's a big cooldown. Now missing, and no teleport to get him back into the fight as well as Ona. He's going to try and push him ever further. Still, he's got a lot of life still, so you do have to be a little bit careful. And Ona no Vile. Here. Yeah. No Vile for owner. so locking down this Ezreal seems like a pipe dream at this point. Carrier is sitting at one-third health. The thing is, the cannon is now a whole lot more dangerous with the fact that they don't have that fate sealed in order to lock things down. Carrier almost just dies to the True Shot Barrage, so they're not going to be able to go for any sort of engage. He is purely their front line, and that is going to be sole point for Nongshim. On the True Shot Barrage, and Ona lying in wait here is going to find Vital. I think Vital pretty happy about that one. Finds the quickness and they're just going to turn it on to Ona. And he is going to ult, but they get over the wall and now the re-engage comes in. Jiwoo's going to be taken out and Fisher as well finds himself on the wrong side of the fight. Can they still get this? Because Mihail, he goes all out. Carrier finds the pulverizers. Fisher locks down Ona. They don't have their Fed Ezreal. And they're still fighting this one as Sylvie misses the bowling ball and finally Kumiyushi's able to get it done. Carrier ticking down, but he will survive. See, Mihail turns up in the bottom lane. He has teleport. So does Faker. But Sylvie's in the mid lane. Fake out. It's real. mid lane and AD carry that are just going to kill a Baron. And, I, and T1 just aren't realizing. They're like, yeah. well, these players are missing, but I wonder where they are. They're going to get the notification right now. There goes the Baron. And it's T1 who let this happen. Let's see whether he can get into a good position as Carrier half health now. Just off one combo. Fisher gets over the wall with the unbound soul. He's just looking to try and deal with this. And there is the mountain soul now available for Nongshim. He's the hyper fed member on, in this game. Yes, Fisher is also pretty fed, pretty huge. But if you can't kill the Ezreal, I just don't think you win these. You're outranged. And T1 knew it. They just they were like, well, I guess that's it. Checkmate. We have to give this dragon up. I hope we can fight for Elder. Touching once again for another angle as this inner turret could be in trouble as W connects on to the turret. And that will be going down as Garrier going to have to back away. There's another one. Fisher unbinds the soul. Knows that he has to go back there. Don't have over the map right now. If Guma dies, then they just push further as owner. Speaking of dying. Yeah, exactly. He's 0-5 already. This might be 0-6, but no. He presses the ulti button. He's going in, and he just goes out immediately afterwards. That's that 0-6 that we were talking about. And Nongshim don't have to worry about a jungler.
still a minute until the Baron, so he will be up again for that. But the base may be in tatters, as it's now four versus five. Baker is going to get nailed by so many skill shots. Look at from Jiwoo. Jiwoo. He's like, oh, there's no Vi? I can step forward. I'm brave now. I'm not afraid. Oh, Fisher is also going to do the same thing, but of course, doesn't need to be that brave. It's still the almost just one shot by Kumiyushi. He might need to press his Zonya's button. Vital's going to be there to try and protect him. His carrier looks for the option. The headbutt back onto Jiwoo. He breaks his arm guard, but the ulti to punish Jiwoo and Fisher just says no, not today, my friend. That is going to be the exhaust down, but it's not enough to stop Jiwoo from falling down. Still, he's now dead as well. But Nongshima cleaning up the fight because Fisher is still just so big. Faker on Full health, not going to be able to do anything. There was just not enough left in the tank. Is now Vital going to get engaged on once again? Cease and desist comes down. Has he created enough space? The answer is no. As the Rakan goes down, Fisher just going to reattach once again. So it's a, a few health bars now a little bit lower, but not yeah. without their support. And that was working really well for Vital, little tricky plays, but now they have, oh, Carrier. Yeah, that's the flash headbutt from Carrier. The ulti comes through from Fisher though, and Carrier will be going down. So support for support, but Ona's also going to fall. A double kill for Jiwa to start this one. It says his ulti doesn't find the angle he was looking for this time. And this Mountain Soul, this Kasante is so big. It's a triple for Jiwoo, and he's just layering all the CC. Arcane shift forward, Quadra kill, and the Noodles are winning 2-0 over T1. Unbelievable result. Two insane upsets today. First Gen G fall, and then T1. It was the win that KT took that knocked Nongshim out of playoffs, but I don't think it affected them in this one, or maybe it did, maybe it was a lack of pressure. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.